What's up, guys? My name is Chance. Uh, for those of you that don't know, hi, I'm Chance. Um, I'm doing this live stream because I need help. Um, I know this might sound crazy, but it's it's very true. I've had friends and family witness what I'm about to tell you guys, and I know it sounds crazy, but it's very real. Me and my family moved into this house in 2009. And when we moved in, there was a demonic, there was a, there was a bunch of demonic symbols painted in the room that used to be my room, which is located by our front door, like when you first walk in, you turn to, when you turn to the right, that used to be my old bedroom. When we first moved in, there was, like I said, there was a bunch of demonic things, including a satanic devil head. And we covered it up with paint, but what's weird is this. After we covered it up, the devil had kept bleeding through many times. Until now, there's actually a stain permanently of the outside of the devil's head, of the giant satanic devil head. It's not very noticeable, but it's still there. Um, and little things started happening over the years, but now they've gotten worse. It started off with little things, like I would feel like I'm being watched. Or, you know, things would get moved around. And then after that, it started to progressively get a little bit worse and worse and worse. And there was one night after a surgery that my mom had where I was, where she had me make a little pallet on the floor upstairs here in the next room across the hall. And because she needed my help because she just had knee surgery And she needed me to help her out. So I made a pallet and I laid down on the floor. I'd say about a half hour after laying down, I was almost asleep. And out of nowhere, I felt something kick me in the head. Like, super, super hard. And it wasn't just like, you know... It wasn't like, you know, somebody walked by me and they actually... You know, they accidentally kicked me in the head. No. This felt like someone kicked me really hard in the fucking head with a boot or a shoe. And I don't mean like on the side of my head, no, like I was laying down like this. My head was facing the door and something kicked me right in the very top of my head. And my head came down and it jarred my neck. Like if someone kicks you in the head and your head goes down a little bit from the impact, that's what it did. But yet, when I got up, I was freaked out. I was very fucking scared. But here lately, it's been getting worse. About three weeks ago, I started feeling like I was being watched. And I couldn't figure out why. So I decided to do an investigation of my own accord. 
and I use the very same apps that like real ghost hunter teams use, like the actual apps that they use on their phones. And two messages came up when I did the investigation, which were leave now and give it back. Which I found very, very strange. And there were also, I can't quite remember the names. But there were a couple names that went with it. But here lately, something very weird has been going on. Over the past week or so, at least two or three times, I'll get up in the middle of the night because I'll hear my dog Rugrat barking and I figure at first maybe it's somebody at the door. You know, I go down the stairs thinking, okay, maybe there's somebody at the door. But yet every time I see Rugrat, he is always staring at that room. He's always staring at that room every time he barks. And I don't know what to do about it. I genuinely don't know what to do. I know there's something demonic in this house. But I don't know what to do about it because my mom and stepdad don't believe me. But yet all these weird things have happened. Sometimes I'll hear footsteps. Occasionally I'll catch shadows out of the corner of my eye. And it's like, I don't know what to do. If there's anybody out there that can help me figure out what's going on, that would be huge. Because like I said, it's very hard for me to sleep at night knowing that there's something evil in this house lurking around. And it's like, I don't know what to do. Because like I said, it started out small. It really did. It started out very, very small. And then it started getting worse and worse and worse to the point to where now my dog is at the, you know, staring at that room every time. Because like I said, I my automatic thought because as you guys know, we do get a lot of people showing up here. We do get a lot of people that show up here throughout the day and throughout the night sometimes. So my first thought automatically is, you know, maybe somebody's here and, you know, maybe Marty or, you know, somebody like Edward Blair, somebody called someone here. And there have been a couple times that, like I said, the spirit has gotten violent. But not like, you know, I'm going to kill you violent. Like, like I mentioned before, the one night when I was laying down with my mom after she got surgery and I was laying down at the foot of the bed, I had a little pallet on the floor and something kicked me in the head. Needless to say, it scared the shit out of me. Now, I don't know if this has anything to do with it. Maybe you guys can help me out with this. But one of my ancestors is Jonathan Putnam from the Salem Witch Trials. Who was accused of not only being a witch himself, but he was accused of harboring a witch. They're in the witch trials, which is more commonly known as the Salem witch hunt. 
And I don't know if that has anything to do with it. I don't know. Like, I don't know if that has to do with me noticing things or if it has anything to do with what's going on. Like, don't get me wrong. I've dealt with, you know, spiritual things before. Like, like after my older brother passed, he did funny things that he would do when he was alive to let me know that he was still here. Like, sometimes when he would use the bathroom, he would make random noises just to freak me out. Because you know how, like, if you got a sibling and they like to mess with you. Well, there would be times where I would be in, 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 that I would be in the shower and he would, he would love to freak me out. Like, he would, you know, bang on the door or do something random like that. Well, shortly after his passing, he and I know this is him for a fact because he he did stuff like this when he was alive. Um, he took the handle of a bucket that we had sitting in the bathroom after his passing, and he banged it down a few times so I know, like, hey, I'm still here. Like, and and he did that. He loved to mess with me. He loved to joke around. So I'm not unfamiliar with, you know, the spiritual side of things. I'm not unfamiliar with it at all. I'm very used to it. But this level of demonic stuff, I have not dealt with in a very long time, if ever. Like, I've dealt with, like, evil spirits that, you know, we've gotten rid of. But this is on a whole other level. Like, this is beyond my understanding and my knowledge. And I genuinely... Like, I genuinely don't know what to do about this demonic entity. Because every time I walk past that room, I start to get sick. I start to feel like something's watching me. And I get this, just like... Just this unsettling, unnerving, like, sick feeling. Like, and I've had the feeling before with certain things, but never on this level. And it's like, I genuinely don't know what to do. Because like I said, my family's not believing me. Thankfully, nothing's happened to them yet. But I'll be honest, I'm afraid that one of these days, that that whatever's in that room is going to get pissed off enough to go after one of them or even my dog. And it's like, I genuinely don't know what to do. Like, I'm literally beside myself. Like, I know that I can do, like, I know that there are times where, you know, like, when I do my metal songs, my voice sounds demonic. But that's just me adding an effect to my already natural metal vocals but what's weird is this this is what I find very strange it doesn't happen during the daytime everything that goes on demonically has always happened at night between the hours of, I'd say, like, 9, 10 o'clock at night, maybe 11-ish, to about, I'd say, 4 or 5 in the morning. That's about the time frame that everything goes down on a normal basis. 
And it's been on and off for the last few weeks, but the time frame is usually, like I said, it's around the time when it's dark out. And trust me, Envy, I wish that, I wish that, uh, I wish you were right. I do, I really do wish you were right. I do wish to God that you were right about this, but unfortunately, this is all too real. And like I said, it takes a lot to scare me. It does. I mean, as you guys know, it does take a lot to freak me out. But with something like this, I don't know. Like, I've never felt something more evil and sinister in my life. It's like when I go near that room, it's like I go in there and I just, I automatically want to get out of there as soon as possible. Like, let's say that I'm going to grab my mom a drink. Because she has her little miniature fridge in that room. It's like, I go in there to grab a drink and I get out of there as fast as possible because that room makes me sick. I don't know if, you know, my ancestor being who he is has something to do with my abilities to pick up on that energy or what, I don't know. But going near that room, it's not good. And I keep telling my mom that there is something evil in that room. There is something very demonic in that room. And like I said, I'm not, you know, like I'm not a stranger to dark entities that might be good or lost spirits, you know, spirits that may have been, you know, misguided or lost along their way. I'm not, you know, unfamiliar with that. I'm actually very familiar with that. But this is not something of a lost soul. This is literally something evil. And every time I go downstairs at night, I can feel it watching me. It's almost like it, it's almost like it follows me around. And I just, I wish there was a way that I could show my family what's going on. But it's like, I genuinely don't know what to do about it. Like I said, I've dealt with I've dealt with dark entities and dark spirits. Now that literally what you're seeing is the cause I got this on. That's literally my camera. What you're seeing is the shadow from my big ass head making it look like that it moved. That's what you guys are seeing. Because if you guys notice, I have a shadow cast behind me over here and it's, it kind of makes it look like stuff's moving. But if anybody out there has any kind of answers, uh, you guys are more than welcome to reach out to me. Um, if you guys would like to reach out to me, I will, I will send, I will send you guys my, uh, discord so that if you guys would like to reach out to me, you can, because like I said, I have no problem with dark spirits, 
Because a lot of dark spirits are generally just, you know, souls that have lost their way. Those I don't mind being around. Some of them are actually not harmful. But whatever's in that room, I feel like could do harm if provoked. So if you guys would like to add me, here is my Discord name. I've actually tried that and it doesn't work. Like, dude, I literally wear a fucking rosary, dude. Well, it's uh, not a, it's not technically not a rosary, but it basically is one. But I do wear a cross necklace. I do wear a crucifix. But this. This entity, I don't know if, I don't know if it's from something around here. Because if you guys don't know, uh, Summit Lake is actually one of the most haunted places in Ohio. So, I mean, I know that we're surrounded by, you know, spiritual energy all the time around here. And one of the reasons why Summit Lake is one of the most haunted areas in Ohio is because back in the 60s, or no, it was, no, it was in the, I think the 50s or 60s, and then later on in the 70s, there was a carnival that crashed into the lake, killing several hundreds of people both times. Something happened to where one of the legs of the carnival gave out and hundreds of people ended up dying and are now sadly. What the fuck? Did you guys just hear that? Was that just was that my chair or did you guys actually hear something? Like, did you guys hear something like, uh, like, almost, the best way I can explain it is like a zombie growl. Did you guys hear something like that just now, or was that my chair? Like, be real, was that my chair, or was that... Now, that was my chair just now. But. But like I said, I know that, you know, I do live in a very haunted area in Ohio. But with this, this is on a whole other level. I don't know if that room could be one of the portals to hell or if that's just a demonic altar of, you know, demonic worship. I don't know. But if anybody can hit me up in my DMs on Discord and try to help me figure this out, maybe we can do, maybe over the next few weeks I'll do a uh, live, um, a live, uh, session and whatnot. Maybe one of these days I'll do a live, um, investigation and kind of show you guys what's going on. That way you guys have a better understanding of what I've been dealing with.
So if anybody out there can that actually knows what they're talking about this stuff. Um, if somebody could please reach out to me on Discord that is very familiar with dealing with this kind of stuff. Um, I will pin my Discord for you guys. So that if anybody wants to reach out to me to try to help, please do. Because, like I said, I don't get scared very easy. I don't. But this has me not scared for myself, but for my family, for our dog. Like, I'm afraid that if, if one of my family members accidentally provokes it somehow, or if my dog provokes it somehow on accident, that something serious could happen. And one of the reasons why I am so much in tune with the spirit realm, as they call it, is because I actually do have Cherokee Indian in me. I'm Irish, all part Irish. Um, I've got Cherokee in me, so like, you know, I'm very in tune with that side. Plus, my one of my ancestors being Jonathan Putnam from the Witch Trials. Like, I'm very in tune with that side of things. So, if anybody out there can please reach out to me, you know, maybe we can sit down and figure out what's going on. So, with that being said, I'm going to try to set something up here to see what I can do. And, uh, yeah, if anybody has any answers, please reach out to me on Discord. Peace.